All right, what's up, guys? We're back. I'm here with uh, I'm PBJ, this is Archangel. Um, and we're gonna do a video on Pit and Dark Pit. Um, he's gonna mostly play some Pit stuff. We're gonna have the computer as Pit, but I'll move around and we'll switch back and forth. So there are slight differences with the character. Very slight. He'll tell you, and we're just gonna jump into the gameplay. Who cares what we say? Let's play some games and show you some stuff with Pit. All right, take it away, Jim. All right, so I'm just gonna go over the 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 basics, of, like all of his moves, and then a little bit of the applications. I'm not gonna give you like, I'm not gonna show you every hair follicle that that Pit has because he's a relatively self-explanatory character. Uh, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm actually gonna start with the specials. Can you put me on? Oh yes. Control. Computer on control. Okay. There we go. There you go. There you go. So I guess I'm just gonna start with the only real differences between these two characters, and that would be the neutral special, which is the arrow. Um, Pitts has a lot more control, but it's a lot weaker in terms of its knockback. But you can control it. You can kind of, I don't know. You can you can shoot you know stop sign. You can shoot a traffic light. Whereas uh, Dark Pit, his neutral special, even if you like, in order to get any kind of control, you'd have to go all the way back, charge it, and you might be able to, to move it over my head. But it's a little faster, a little stronger. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so you can barely, whereas I can I can loop mine in all kinds of crazy ways, which makes for some really interesting trick shots. Like if you're playing teams and your partner's like there and somebody else is on the right side, you can actually shoot above them and then bring the arrow back down and hit somebody else. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's something that Pit can do that Dark Pit can't do. Another thing is, of course, the side special, which is the... I still have no idea why Pit has this move. I mean, I do, but it it seems a lot like uh, like Falcon side special, except that I like it more because of the, the super armor. But as you can see, my side special knocks you upward. Whereas Dark Pit side special sends you out to the side. So it has totally different applications. Um, I like Dark Pits better for gimping characters with weaker recovery because it immediately, it almost reminds me of Melee's um, Samus' Cross Cancel Down Smash because yeah. it just immediately puts you off stage even if you're at super low percent. And then if you get the right read, you can get people at extremely low percents. Uh, other than that, they're virtually identical. Our jabs are the same. Uh, our rapid jabs are the same. Uh, our tilts. Our smash attacks. Uh, so one by one, uh, I'm just going to go through uh, Pit's move. My, my favorite move with Pit is actually his down tilt. Your favorite move? It's my favorite move. Uh, especially in this game, since you can do anything out of a dash. Um, the dash attacks for Pit and Dark Pit are actually like kill moves now at high percent. But as you can see, there's like a, a little bit more end lag. Whereas I like to run up and down tilt. Okay. Instead of dash attack. Instead of dash attack, because I, I, I especially at low to mid percents, it can start combos. So that's why I, that's why I, I prefer to use uh, run up down tilt for things like that. Okay. Uh, four tilt's more of a poke. Uh, it's, it's got his, like, it's the most range that he has while on the ground. We have the same forward tilt? Yeah, we have the same forward tilt. We have the same everything, we're brothers. A lot of times I, I use this when, when people are on the ledge. If I think they're going to do a regular getup, I'll just kind of poke them back off. This is actually smash attack. Okay. thought I had something to think, but I don't. That's cool. Um... Yes, it's, it's actually a really strong tilt. It's really good for putting people back off stage. Uh, his up tilt... Uh, it doesn't really have high knockback, but it's good for like setting up for follow-ups. Yeah. So I'm gonna... Do you know Yeah. So, I love the sense you can do things like... Is that like set knockback? Yeah, it pretty much has set knockback. Like, it barely... Like, the knockback barely changes. Yeah, so that's like the, the, yeah, so the as you can see his his yeah, going, going up and he's not going past the blue line. Yeah, you will eventually, but like barely. Yeah. This yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this is kind of it's it's a pretty uh it's a pretty reliable go to move. Uh in fact sometimes you can get like um you can get like a, a down tilt into into dash into up tilt. But again? 
But uh, it's really hard to do at zero. Okay. But I'm gonna put you at like, uh, I don't know, 50. 49 close though. Oh. Yeah, and then you can you can do things like that. So there's some there's some really uh, interesting applications for the up tilt that uh, a lot of people just kind of ignore the up tilt because they think why not up smash? But sometimes it's better to do uh, up tilt because you can get more off of it instead of just a smash attack. Yeah. Um, so that's it for Fitz tilts. I mean, do I really have to cover the jab? I mean, the jab this jab is pretty safe, but like you know, it's a jab. Oh, the good thing about the jab is uh, well, as you know, if you've been playing this game. Multi-hit moves are really good. So there's this really funny thing. All right, so come over here, get in the get in the corner here, and, 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 and get get in the corner. Time out. So so shield. So when you wrap a jab, people shield. You will eventually get pushed back. So what's funny is that like like if, so if he if he perfect shields there, just keep holding A, and, it's, and as soon as he perfect shields, let go of A and hit him with the strong attack, and you'll basically like always win out. For some reason, because yeah. multi hits are, are really weird in this game. I'm not. That's a good thing. Yeah, it's it's it's. Well, it's bad if you're in the corner, but it's good if you're the person who's putting them in the corner. Yeah, I'm saying good for us. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's good for me. But I'm I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, so smash attacks, they uh, they insanely buff pits forward smash in this game. Okay. This forward smash is always supposed to be a kill move. But in previous games, like Smash 4, often people were at super high percents, so, you know, it would kill, but it killed them, like, super late. But in this game, you, most of the time, you'll, you'll kill people, sometimes you'll kill them, depending on their weight, you'll kill them as low as, like, in the 70s. If you just hit them with a forward smash, like, they're dead. Um, yeah. Of course, as you get to, like, 85, 90, you'll start to kill most people. If you have them near the, the right or left side, forward smash is basically just going to take them out. Uh, up smash, also like a, a a kill move, but like not not really. If you kill somebody with an up smash, they're usually at like 150 or something like that. But uh, as you might have seen already, some of the other pits, uh, one of the most reliable setups, at least in terms of building percent right away, is down throw and up smash. Now you have to you have to dash forward a little bit in order to connect because the down smash or the down throw naturally puts them outward so what you do is you, you down throw dash a little bit and then hit up smash okay and that's that's basically the best application of up smash um it sort of reminds you of like links except a lot of times uh if people are next to you depending on how like shorter characters like if you crouch right now like i oh. i might scoop you up but characters like uh pichu, like pichu isabel. and olimar and isabel uh, and characters that have the ability to, to kind of crouch super low, you'll you'll tend to miss them. Even what about Sheik's crouch there too? Yeah, I think I think Sheik also goes under it. And I think if I'm facing away from you, uh, I'll, just yeah. up, I'll just straight up miss you anyway. Hey, do you? Like I feel like the animation's hitting me, and it's just because I want to have it. Yeah, and if I'm facing you, I'll hit you. Uh, so it's one of those things you just want to be mindful. Of. A lot of times, if you're really close, but even then, sometimes you'll like even pit. Sometimes you'll just miss. It, it's really uh, hard to hit shorter profile characters. I, I think that you can even sort of tell by the, the little boxes here. Um, so if you crouched near me, and you know how you see how Pit does like a little bob even when he's crouching? Yeah. Like I think sometimes when he's at his lowest, like he's breathing, but when he's at his lowest, sometimes I think you'll still just miss. But that's just, you know, that's not super important. Um, and then of course there's a down smash. <laughs> As of right now, I think it's like super underrated. It's not as strong as the the forward smash, but it it will eventually start back. to kill. Yeah, I want to say the knockback, but the like... Yeah, uh, but you can put people off stage. Like if if you get to a relatively high percent, uh, 60, 70. like 60, 70, 60, well, right into that. Okay. Yeah. And it, it sets up for um, one of the most important concepts for fit that I'm gonna I'm gonna get to a little bit later. Um, but before that, I want to go over Pit's aerials. So, I have a hard time picking a favorite between uh, Nair and Ford Air, but I think I have to go with Nair just because of what you can do with it out of shield. Nair out of shield is like a, a pretty old concept, but if somebody does something unsafe near you and you shield it, 
Now out of shield, we'll get you a, you know, almost 12%. Depending on how many hits of the neutral air you get. And on top of that, sometimes you can combo in there in the forward air. So, there's, there's the neutral air is probably my, my favorite. It basically just turns Pit into one big hitbox. Uh, and then of course after that, which is the, the forward air, which you can, you can combo down to the forward air, depending on like how they DI. Uh, a lot of times, just to be safe, I'll do down throw in there, but if they DI out, down throw forward air always gets them, pretty much. Oops, yeah. I pull up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and of course if they, they DI in, for whatever reason, they're gonna get the, the, the craziest amount of neutral airs. And of course if they're a really high percent and they try to DI up and in for some reason, you can do down throw up there. Uh, so basically, down throw and and like everything works with Pit. Like at, at low percents, of course, uh, down throw up smash. And then after that, oh, hey Nairo, uh, let's make an appearance in the video. Um, after that, down throw and pretty much everything, including uh, raw back air, becomes like um, a possibility. Yeah. Um, I would say forward air is like your main spacing tool, just because of the range it has. And Pit doesn't like have the greatest air mobility, but he has enough to really make use of uh, forward air, especially since he has like 27 jumps. Not really, he's got four. But uh, so what you'll want to do in neutral a lot of times is is you'll want to you'll want to threaten space with the forward air and retreating forward air. Um, as you can see, tickling that little little hair follicle. Um, so you'll, you'll basically want to try to bait people into coming in, so you can get a more meaty, like either a grab or, or get a down tilt into something more meaty. But forward air threatens so much space, a lot of times you have to respect, you have to, you have to respect it because it's a threat. Um, and that's basically it. I mean the back air, a lot of times when people are at high percent, that's when I start using back air, because back air is a, like his most powerful aerial by a significant margin. So. When they're at high percent, if you hit them with a sweet spot, because there's a sour spot on the back air. The sweet spot back air will kill people when they get to like 80, 90, 100, depending on the weight. Like it sends them super far. So you're going to have to be mindful of that. If you're playing against Pit and you get to high percent and you see them turning around, they're looking to land one of those. Yeah, one of the back airs. Now the weak, the, the sour spot has applications at lower percent for like combos. So if I if I throw this out and I hit you with the the, the oh, weaker hit, you can do like back you can do like back air to grab. I'll do it this way. Things like that. Okay. Yeah. So it, it can be useful at low percents, and then basically it becomes even more useful at high percents. Oh yeah, you can actually push. <laughs> yeah, he's a really. <laughs> actually, it's I don't know why I wasn't using him. I was kind of crisp. He's a really good character. Now, I'm not going to say that he's the best character in the game, the worst character in the game, mid-tier, high-tier. Because as of right now, as of the making of this video, it's too soon to tell, but I think that Pit, the, the best way to explain him is that he's a jack of all trades. He can kind of handle any situation for now. You know, he he, he can sort of hold his own against everybody. Uh, so if you're the kind of person that, that considers uh, yourself more of an all-arounder, like you like playing characters that can kind of handle any situation, then you might want to consider picking up Pit. That's usually what I like. Another thing about Pit uh, is his recovery. As I mentioned, he's got four jumps and then an upbeat. So as, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you can see, he can kind of recover from the depths. Like, can he get killed though? Um, I mean, if somebody you could, if somebody hit you while you're up there, then yeah, you would you would die. He could escape the blast zones. I can go down here. I can jump around for a bit, and then I can come back. So. I think, like, I can even go under, just under here, and, you know, just, just kind of do whatever I want. Okay. That's cool. Yes, so there's a lot of things that Pick can do. Uh, so I'm... Yeah, the, the... So it's about the up air. I didn't really touch on the up air as much. It's it's his main juggling tool. So a lot of times you can use it to, to keep people in the air. Yeah, it's 
kind of a nice It's got extremely high players. priority. So it's it's um, one of those moves where if you can if you can get a read on your opponent, because what happens is a lot of times you start to, to put people in the air, and once they lose out to that, then you might get them to air dodge or something like that. So then you you you, you would jump upward, and then if they air dodge, you run to where they're going to be and up smash them and put them back in the air. Yeah. So then it becomes like a mix up. Like, are you going to up air them, or are you going to up smash them, or up tilt them? Do whatever you want to them, basically. Yeah. Uh, so that's. That's basically it for Pit. I mean, he's a relatively simple character. Uh, the only thing I will say, uh, I guess it's uh, to get slightly more complex, is um, the applications of his arrows, which are somewhat underrated. Yeah. So, because there's only uh, a single air dodge in this game, like you can't, you can't spam it like you used to. That means that your your recovery, you're going to have to really think about it. Yeah, you want to show some, like, edge guarding stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your recovery, you're really going to have to think about it. So what happens when you put people off stage... Um, it's an have one jump. Yeah, if, if, assuming it's not pit, it's certain, but even against another pit, like, the, the kind of stuff you can do off stage is, is, is really yeah, ridiculous it's a, when it comes to things like that. Yeah, you can actually just eat their jump with the yeah, arrow. Yeah, so, so you can basically, um, especially with, with normal pit, uh, I, I like to consider him a character that always has a chance to follow up. So you like normal pit more than dark pit? I personally prefer normal pit, even though I know why people play prefer dark pit, but I play them both about evenly at this point. Um, and what happens is when you when you sit, hit people away, a lot of times it's it's that's it. You reset the neutral, right? Or you prepare it to the S guard. But the main reason why I like pit is because it never stops. Like if I if I Knock you off stage, like that's that's not the end. I can, I, I'm still following up just with projectiles. So the the, the pressure is, is is constant, and then you have to get through basically a, a hailstorm. Oh, he can side beat up you. Yeah, you can side beat up you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I SD. I was like, oh, yeah, hey, that's actually like... one of the the safer things to do because if I if I try to challenge the side beat, yeah, like don't go, don't go too far. But try side beating from like the tent. See where the tent is. Yeah. Okay. Like oh. if I try to challenge that, I'm getting hit. Oh, so, man. a lot of times people will, will, will literally just do that, oh, like smart. as like a, a safety thing. Oh, that's smart. And then if, if it connects, you can side B to side B or whatever. You can. It's it's really threatening. So a lot of times people won't challenge it. They'll just let you get back. Yeah, I like their dash. They have the same dash dance, right? Yeah. They don't. They don't run. Yeah, they have a really good initial dash. They have the same speed. Yeah, we're, 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 we're none of them faster. Yeah, we're we're identical. Okay. We're, we're twins. But again, with the exception of the, the applications of the arrow. Now, if you back up, you can really see, like... And the uh, side B. So the arrow and the side B, they only... The arrow and the side B are the only difference. So none of the matches of that much. Er everything is, everything's identical. Okay. So it's the arrow and the side B. Um, okay. Now, let me swap for a second. The shield yeah. is a little different on there. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I'll get, I'll get used to it. Now, the thing about, about Dark Pit, and this is the main the main appeal with Dark Pit. Again, I, I, I understand because I, I've used it. Um, is when you start to rack up percentage, and then you get people in these situations where they're like on the edge. Now, I'm not going to recommend, uh, I guess the touch on side bay a bit more, I'm not going to recommend throwing this out in neutral, because it's extremely punishable. Yeah, it's, 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 so. it's extremely punishable. Now, if you get a read or something, like if somebody keeps doing the same thing, like let's say every time I, 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 I run up, he spot dodges, right? So I, I'm like, ah, and he spot dodges. Yeah. Ah, and he spot dodges. Now, if I read he's going to spot dodge, I'll press this ahead of time, and like when he spot dodges, he'll have that waiting for him. Now, this is the trick. <laughs> Basically, this is, the tra this is the training mode, so like there's another stage over there. But usually, like if that doesn't kill him, it's, it puts him in an extremely difficult situation, extremely precarious, because these, these arrows, the, 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 the knockback growth on these arrows is actually insane. Keep thinking now as you can see, uh, this is percent, like, the, the higher percent goes, the more this will knock him back. Yeah. And uh, even the uncharged ones knock you somewhat back. But the, the fully charged ones will actually start to kill people at a certain percent. And if it doesn't kill them, if they're in the blast zone, like if that's the blast zone over there, and they get hit with another arrow, um... They're dead, basically. Like, if you have less control, you can kind of barely move it. But it's really annoying, as you can see. You're just tucking your down, your down beat. 
Yes, alright, the orbital shield. Now the, the orbital the shield is, is yeah, we're we're identical. Uh, so basically it, I don't even it, know it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a get off me move. Get uh, off it, me. It, it's, it, it, oh, it, so it doesn't break it just disappears. It will break eventually. Now what it but breaks, it doesn't hit me though. Well, when it breaks, you have to basically wait for it to... Like a shield? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to wait for it to recharge. But it, it, it'll come back. But it, it works similar to a shield, in which case you kind of can't... But when it breaks, it can't hit, it doesn't hit me? Oh, okay. That's real safe. Cause it's extremely safe. Now, you can beat it with a grab, but it's it's actually... Let me reset. It's actually really good for, like, a combo breaker. So let's say you throw me, and you try to hit me with a follow-up that's not true. I'm gonna buffer down B. See that? Yeah. Now, if you can hit me, that means it's a true combo. But if you, if you if you're fighting somebody who's like going for setups that aren't true, but you don't want to burn an air dodge, yeah. A lot of times you can buffer this because it's, it's it's pretty safe, and it will get you out of danger immediately. It also reflects projectiles. So if you shoot me, oh. Ooh, see. Uh, <laughs> are you trying this? I'm trying to. <laughs> You've never used pet before. Uh, right side the shield, the down B. I know. Ooh, it's freaking slice. Yeah, it's, huh? it's, it's, it's pretty deadly. I mean, I mean, yeah. Ooh! Yeah, that's, a, that's another thing, the, the control. Like, the way you can... You can oh, Wait a minute, huh? Yeah, that's, that's personally why I prefer pit. I like the control. So essentially the only difference is like control versus power when it comes to arrows and the side special sending you outwards as opposed to straight up. Now at this percent your side special will probably kill me. I like this I I like this right here. Yeah you can like go down. down. That's what I used to do back in the, the Oh day. it's like a Kuma dude. Yeah it's a Kuma. Oh okay. Oh I really like this. I thought this could be used a lot. Oh it's really good. So side side duty real quick. I mean, I mean, yeah. Almost. Well, depending on the eye that kill you, or depending on your weight. Now I'm dead. Okay. For the most part. Man, um, that's, this is pit. Pit's pretty a little heavy, right? Yeah. I mean, I think he's somewhere in the middle. Yeah, but I'm saying a, lot, a lighter character would. Die. A lighter character is. Oh, that's basically the difference. Like a lot of times, if I, if I'm playing against a heavy, I'll go pit, I'll go dark pit, because the heavies aren't gonna die up pretty easily. So I'll just I'll just hit them with with something and send them off stage, and then yeah, I'm super dead. But I'm at 175, but... That's a little uh, Yeah, the, the one last thing I'll, I'll go over is the... Uh, the downer? The, the, well, you can do some downer-downer. Yeah, the, the, the downer, the downer, and uh, of course the, the throws. Because okay. I don't think I specifically... I went over throws, kind of, those like down throw combos. Yeah. But, like, I'll go over the throws, but... Alright, so yeah. the downer uh, is relatively strong. As you can see, it does 10% per hit. Uh, a little more, but you know, who cares about the decibel? Uh, so in certain situations, depending on how they DI, you can get uh, yeah, you down can get that throw setups. Too. That's pretty really cool. Yeah, but it, 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 it works like really well if they DI in. So if you can basically scare your opponent into DIing in to avoid the forward air, it's yeah, like a like mix up. Stage or something. Yeah, and then you can hit him with a with a down yeah. air. You can actually link um, yeah. down airs into other other aerials. Or you can sometimes hit the spike. Now it's it's hard to it's hard to like point out. We don't have the hitbox and frame data in this game because they didn't. That's not in the training mode. But basically, uh, how do I slow this down? Uh, I'm slow it down, way down. I have fun. So basically, like the as you can like, it's, it's hard to point out, but the the, the hitbox for the down air that's like near Pitt's feet is where the yeah. spike is. So if you're trying to aim the spike, like to hit somebody with a spike hitbox, you'll want to make sure they're directly beneath your feet when you hit them. That whole area is a spike hitbox. Like that, if you hit them before that area, you're sending oh, them upward. Wait, it spikes too? Yeah. Ah, it's it. Oh, it's kind of crazy. Might have to use it, buddy. Um, so that's, that's borderline unfair <laughs> because I have so many jumps. And because of the, the buffer system, a lot of times uh, I literally just stay here. Like, Man, like, what the? Hi, pity. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. There, there it is. Yeah, there it was. There's the spike. Um, I just didn't even think. Like he was comboing me when we were playing, so I thought. Like, yeah. It didn't spike. It's 
That's weird. Ooh, wait a second. Yeah, that's uh I bet I might. That's a very very dangerous person. Like I said, he can kind of do everything. He has amazing recovery. It's it's kind of ridiculous how good his recovery is. Yeah. Especially in a game where like recovery is so important now. Yeah. Because you can't just like hit that on R and, and avoid things off stage. Uh, a lot of times what I like to do is just go really low and then just up beat if I'm like way in, in the blast zone. And even if they try to like interrupt me, if I get hit, I'll just tech off the wall and up to again. Ooh. But yeah, the down air the down air is crazy. Yeah, remember if somebody grabs a ledge, let's say if I grab the ledge right here, and it re-grab it the second time you get yeah, to the opponent right away. So. For, for the record. Smash it down there. Yeah, Pitt's got some stuff. Yeah, I want to point out that uh, all his aerials are mostly hit moves besides down air yeah, and back air. Uh, down air and back air. Um, um, so that means you just have to, like, most hit moves are so good and safe in the game. Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, so about his throws, we've already gone over the, the down throw. It's basically his main follow up setup. Um, so when you get people to, to higher percentages, or if you just have a person that you think you can gimp, you just want to fourth throw them, and then you can shoot arrows at them, basically. So if this is the ledge, you know, you're like, oh, I want them off stage, and you would fourth throw them. Uh, if you have your back to the wall, you want to back throw them. Oh, you can act really wait, fast out of the what back What the throw. heck are you like? Like, try to, try to back throw me and move immediately. You can move immediately out of the back throw. But like, there's almost, there's almost like, oh, there's very little delay on the back throw. Here. Yeah, so as you see, he went for a read, like he was reading me doing a, a double jump. I didn't, but if I did, that would have been bad for me. Oh, okay. So back throw, this is good because he, he's, now if I do jump, as you can see, he got me. And if I'm a character with only two jumps, that's bad. That's yeah. bad news for me. Because now I'm off stage, I have no jump against Pit. He could run off neutral air me, and I'm just dead. If I have no jump, that's it for me. That's what it's all to go. Yeah, a lot of this stuff has to be optimized, but like, yeah. let's see what you guys come up with. Yeah, I'm interested in seeing what people come up with. A lot of it's character dependent. So throwing off somebody with like a, like a lot of jumps, it's going to still be hard to edge guard them. Ooh, that but even can, can really just do some crazy offstage stuff. But a lot of times I, I, I use the back there to put people off. If I'm at high percent and my back's to the wall, or if they're at high percent, yeah. get out of here. So there's a lot you can do. Up throw, uh, if you really just want to juggle certain certain characters, characters live without really good recovery options or air mobility, you want to put this throw them up. It works like at super early percents, so you can up throw into, into up air. Yeah. And then if you want to, you can just keep going. Uh, a lot of times I don't do that just because I feel like I, I feel like I can get more off off down throw setups and then do the same thing. Was that down throw up smash? Yeah, it was down throw up smash into like up air. But basically. Uh, I prefer doing things like that, but uh, against certain characters that are like super floaty, like the Jigglypuffs of the world, that it's like hard to, 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 to net follow-ups, and you just want to put them in the air for to like pressure them, then you can just go to top throw. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know too, man. Yeah. Well, that's another thing. But the funny thing about it is you can also do this. Yeah, you can do all like kinds of stuff. stuff. So if, if you decide that you want to, you're like, oh, I'm not a fan, I need to DI away, I can still catch you. Because the arrows are, are relatively insane. Oh. Oh, damn. So I love that animation when he's like, it's better. <laughs> I, like, I like moving around the, the upbeat. Now, that upbeat doesn't last as long as it did in like Brawl and, and other games. Um, if you played Brawl, he had that little cargo up B thing. But the good news is... Uh, <laughs> I'm just a flyer. Bro. Yeah, he's a flyer. The good news is if I, somebody hits you, if something hits you, you can do that again. Does that have a hitbox? No, it doesn't. That would be kind of broken, but you can't do it again. But I remember thinking Pits up B in Brawl was really good until somebody hit me. And you couldn't up B again when you were hit. So Wait, what? That was, that was, I think he was the only character in the game that had that problem. But in Smash 4, of course, again in this game, if somebody hits you out of your wings, you can do it again. 
So that Whoa. makes it, yeah, yeah, his forward air combos into itself sometimes depending on the DI and, and the weight and fall speed, etc. Right. So let's wrap it up. Let's right, so overall we got. That's that's basically it. I think I covered everything. Uh, yeah, down smash. Yeah. Uh, I think I think I covered everything. Spacing tool, the neutral. Yeah, a lot of times, you, like the only thing I'll say, you saw me doing a lot of retreating stuff because retreating is really good. Because a lot of people, they think, oh, well, I, you know, I'm going to get him as soon as he lands, and then you, you know, let's say if I, I'm playing against um, PB and Day here, and he sees me doing this fair, this fair, and he's like, as soon as he lands, I'm going to run and grab him. Right? So he tries it, but I can dash away. So I'm like, yeah. you know, it makes him kind of tricky. I know, of course, you can pull all the way back and shoot arrows. So, Pitt's got really good tools for neutral. Uh, he immediately jumped. Yeah, I saw, I saw him jump. This is, again, why I prefer regular Pitt, because I can, I can deviate my game plan a little bit more. Yeah, he goes with yeah, sure. yeah, well, what, all right, so I guess reflect their characters. This is one final thing. A lot, a lot of things, a lot of times, like if I think they're going to reflect, I'll alter the trajectory at the last minute. So that it won't come back to me. Even if I like fully charge it. See? See? So it, it's like one of those things. A lot of times. Smarty. Yeah, if I just shoot this and then he reflects it, and it's like, oh man, I'm stupid. You know what I mean? So it allows me to, 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 to play the, the distance game if I want to play that way against people who have deflectors. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could pull out the, uh, oh, oh actually, do that again? Stay back. No, oh, you did it. Oh my god, Boy, you see the, the, the damage in the, the I want to see how much, I want to see how much it goes, this is how we close this video. But, oh, wait. Wait. Wait, what happened? Oh. You have to charge it for it to last longer. Okay. It's like a battery. You know, the longer okay, you charge well. the battery, the longer it lasts. Stay back. Right. Stay back. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. Okay. Yeah. So, all in all, closing thoughts about Pit. I think he's really good. I think he has a lot of potential. And uh, I can't wait to see what uh, what people do with him. I'm going to be trying, and I know there's some other people out there, there's people, you know, in Japan. Yeah, Kuro and some other people out there. There's Aito, there's, there's people in different random locations that are winning their locals with Pit. Yeah. And reporting back, and they're like, hey, I think that the early returns on this character are wrong. Because yeah. if you notice, like, the past six months or so, when the E3 build was out, Pit was there, and nobody had anything to say about it. So, yeah, it was weird. Uh, there were a few people who said that they thought he was underrated. I know that, like, Zero was one of them, I think Armada and, and Exax, but... Other than those three, most people are like, oh, I think it's like, you know, bottom tier or whatever, he's nothing special. And maybe they're right. He is not super flashy. He doesn't appear to have anything that's like obviously super good. You know, I, I don't think he's got like a 10 out of 10 in anything except for maybe recovery. His recovery might be a 10 out of 10. His recovery is really good. good. Edge too. But he's he's got like he's a solid. Yeah, I feel like he has just enough tools to be all around. That's character. what I mean. And it's not like an all around like he's a five out of ten in everything. That's the bad yeah, kind I feel of all like around. He's like a seven, eight. He's out like of a ten. seven or eight out of ten in everything. Yeah. And he's a ten out of ten in recovery, which is possibly the most important thing. And that's why I think he's really good. But um, you know, only time Wait will a tell. Second, I love. Oh, okay. Hold yeah, you grab. can. Hold that grab. Well, yeah, since, since it's a multi-hit, if you land with the border, you have, like, or any multi-hit, really, you can try to drag them down, of course, uh, and set up for something else. But, I'm proud to some pit guys. You know. Yeah, you guys let us know. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe. But, yeah, just if you guys find out some stuff or you have any questions, just comment below. And, you know, this is, like, just like a beginner's little advanced tips and tricks type of thing. We'll come out with, like, maybe some, post some clips and comment videos or something later. Yes. But, um, you know, the game's only been out for like 11, 12 days, so, um, yeah, enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, boys. Peace out, guys. Peace.